well, his new Star Wars shills can rejoice, as apparently the dumbest company, Lucasfilm, has uh, decided to greenlight a trilogy, a new Star Wars trilogy. So, uh, yeah, you can find out more by reading a, an article by Deadline. But before that, what's going on, guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi, and welcome to another news video. This is an interesting announcement, but. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that. So if you like these news videos, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more news videos in the future. And, uh, yeah, let's just get to the article. All right, so it's on deadline. All right. Star Wars Trilogy Deal. Lucasfilm taps Simon Kinberg to write and produce. By Mike Fleming Jr. All right. Exclusive. Lucasfilm has closed a deal with Simon Kinberg to develop a trilogy of Star Wars films. Kinberg will write the trio and produced them with Lucasfilm chief Kathleen Kennedy. Oh. Why are they announcing more projects when they keep announcing things and failing and they don't come out? Is this even going to come out? Who knows? I heard this will comprise episodes 10 to 12 of the Skywalker saga. Oh, so do we really need a continuation of the Skywalker saga? Please don't. That began with George Lucas's 1977 first film, which, along with Steven Spielberg's Jaws, reshaped the global blockbuster game. Insiders disputed my intel that Kinberg will continue the storyline, saying this instead will begin a new saga and sit alongside percolating Star Wars projects with James Mangold, Charmaine Obeid Chinoy, Taika Waititi, and Donald Glover. As usual, Lucasfilm and Disney are not commenting. They have so many movies in the works that... You need to quit green lighting stuff. You need to have things come out first. Like you don't need to don't make all these plans based on a bunch of other things and all those precursor things fail. And then you have this trilogy that's probably attached to some of these pro I don't know. What a dumb company. Inberg previously worked with Lucasfilm to co-create with Dave Filoni and Carrie Beck, the Emmy nominated animated series, Star Wars Rebels. That ran for four seasons from 2014 to 2018. He was also a consultant on Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, the J.J. Abrams-directed film that revived the franchise in 2015. Is that a good pedigree? I guess if you like all those projects, then you're like, oh, good, this guy, awesome. But if you're not a fan of those, then you're like, eh, probably not the best fit. But who knows? He has also been heavily involved in other franchises as writer and or producer. That includes a decade spent on the X-Men films and the Logan spin-off film that starred Hugh Jackman and was directed by Mangold. He was also producer of the first two Deadpool films and an executive producer of the 2024 blockbuster Deadpool and Wolverine. He produced the Ridley Scott directed The Martian and has scripted such films as Mr. and Mrs. Smith and co-wrote the film that launched the Sherlock Holmes franchise with Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. He also produced the Kenneth Branagh Agatha Christie film trilogy that started with Murder on the Orient Express. In short, he's comfortable in the franchise sphere. Hmm, interesting, I guess. Upcoming, Kinberg is producing Paramount's remake of Stephen King's The Running Man, which just went into production. Edgar Wright is directing Glenn Powell, Josh Brolin, Amelia Jones, William H. Macy, and Lee Pace. He also is attached to produce Paramount's Star Trek movie, directed by Toby Haynes and penned by Seth Graham Smith. Is this a Ray trilogy or is this a, say, 100 years after the sequel trilogy or 200, you know, like it's distant future, kind of a, a restarting, kind of a, a new place to restart and that we don't have to acknowledge everything before it. It could just be basically a clean slate for them. Is that what this is going to be, or is it going to have all the baggage and all that stuff from the other stuff? Because, honestly, their best bet at this point is to probably go to the future and just do a new thing. But that's both a good thing and a bad thing, because it does need to have some Star Wars elements. Otherwise, just make a new you know, sci-fi franchise then. So it's, it's tough, but I don't know. They just keep announcing things before... They really have anything to prove. Like, none of those movies that they've announced have come out. The Taika Waititi thing more than likely isn't happening. Uh, come on, is that Lando movie happening? 
I think not. You know, the Ryan Johnson trilogy is never going to happen. The Mando and Grogu movie will happen. Is the James Mangold Star Wars movie going to happen? Who knows? Uh, maybe? Probably not. Is the Ray movie going to happen? I don't know. This is... I don't think this is good news, but I guess it could be... It could be awesome. It could, it could lead to some good stuff. I guess we just don't know enough information right now, but... With Lucasfilm's track record, why should I give them the benefit of the doubt? I don't know why they've announced it right now, because, quite frankly, why not save an announcement like this for Star Wars Celebration next year in April, when you actually might be able to have a little bit more detail, and you could kind of give us a little bit more insight to what this is going to be. Like, that would have been smarter. Then it would be more exciting or more worrying, because we would know more details by then. Right now, it's just... Oh, this guy's doing a... He's hes writing and producing a trilogy of Star Wars movies. whoop de doo It might be episodes 10, 11, 12. It might be some other trilogy. Who knows? It's not really clear. It's... I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. But yeah. That's all I have to say about this article. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Uh, what do you think this trilogy is going to be? Yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.